Hey guys, John Trousdale in Indianapolis. We're in the Moroso booth. I'm with my buddy Thor Schroeder. We've got a lot to talk about today. You guys have been in the industry for a long time and you're celebrating a big anniversary this year. Yes, we are. We're celebrating our 50th. Um, we're real excited about it and we're real excited about how many uh, new products we came out with for this year. Came out with over 150 new products. We're always trying to innovative, be innovative and come out with a full line of products, you know, from hardcore drag race to you know, street applications and things of that nature. Well, congratulations, Thor, on 50 years of innovation. We don't have time for all 150 products, but we're going to get through as many as we can. Let's start with these new switch panels I see behind me. John, we can't get through all 150? Not quite. We'll try. Okay. First thing is we came out with new switch panels uh, for this year. What The neat thing about it is we added a USB port to it uh, for the guys who want to add GoPros or, you know, plug their phone in with phone with racer timing applications and stuff like that. Also, if they want to plug in their iPads or laptops and things of that nature. It has a dual USB port and all the other, you know, five different switches besides that. That's great. So a little Netflix at the starting line before you make your run? Exactly. Some new coolant tanks for NHRA applications, a cool new re recovery port I see. Yes, we do. Actually, besides uh, NHRA, it also fits uh, IHRA and SECA uh, rules. What it is uh, is a quart and a quarter uh, main tank, a fill tank, expansion tank, but has a, it has a built-in expansion tank built into it that's a quart. So uh, that meets all the rules and sanction that the sanctioning bodies have. Um, as the car cools down, the neat thing about it is it'll actually suck back into the main tank. So you don't have to run two tanks. You don't have to run two tanks. You don't have to add coolant after your run or you know after your lap session or anything like that. You don't have to drain it. You don't have to run two tanks. You don't have the extra complication of extra lines and things of that nature. And I see some other coolant tanks for some other applications. These are more of a factory replacement. Get the plastic out of there. Get some aluminum in there. Exactly. Uh, over time, plastic will break down due to heat and things of that nature. They discolor. They will. So what we did is we came out with these more of these aluminum tanks, uh, anywhere from the 2016 up uh, Camaros to 2016 up Mazda Miatas. So you have a full range of coolant tanks we came out with. It's a big range. Now you guys have had a widely beloved air oil separator for a long time. Uh, you've got a new finish there. Yeah, we came out with a black finish. More guys want to run black uh, products underneath their hoods. That's sometimes the part doesn't need to change. You just put a new finish and, and finally it fits under the hood. Exactly, exactly. Now new pans. Working our way from the top of the motor down, um, you've got something new for the Chevy Big Block applications. Yes, what we did was we came out with a new, uh, actually two pans, one that fits the two-piece rear seal and one that fits another application that fits the, the one-piece rear seal. And what it is is a road race or pro touring type pan. It has a road race pro touring baffling in it. Uh, so, you know, if the guy wants to take his car to the track, you know, to an open track event or, or even if he wants to drag race it, you know, it, has a, it you know, keeps the oil pressure where it needs to be. Let's talk fitment with that Chevy Big Block pan. What can I stuff this into? Actually, even will fit uh, most Chevy chassis, including the early A bodies and front steer cars. So road racers run an LS motors. You have got a new pan for those guys? Yes, we've had a steel pan for years. What we did was we came out with new aluminum application. Uh, basically, same exterior di dimensions, just an aluminum in the guys that, you know, what that kind of uh, construction and everything like that. Yeah, and durability, then, save some weight. Exactly. And, it, you know, that gives that nice aluminum look for the high tech guys. And fitment as far as that one goes? That fits almost all GM chassis except for uh, the early Chevy 2 Novas and also the 55, 57 Chevys. So I was just over in the Chevy booth. They've got a real nice Hot Wheels Copo Camaro in there and you've got an oil pan for that motor or for that for that car I should say. Yes, I'm glad you noticed that. We just introduced at the show, we introduced a new LT rear sump, deep sump pan that fits the 2000 up 16 Camaros and almost every, you know, 2010 up Camaros and most rear sump uh, applications. It's baffled for drag racing, has internal pickup in it, real excited about it. All right, so Thor, we didn't get through all of the products. Where can we go to get the information on the rest of them that we couldn't cover today? Uh, Morosa.com. Morosa.com, we'll check it out. Thanks for being here with us at PRI, Thor. Thanks and for coming. stay tuned, there's a lot more coming your way.